morning, guys. Can everyone hear me? You can just give a thumbs up if you can. So I'm actually able to see everyone this time around. <laughs> Almost like you guys are here. Okay, I'm just going to give it another minute. I'm just trying to just while we wait. Just take it down. Thank you, it's still, if you can put your cameras on if you want, I'm just going to try it out today. I've been doing it with the kids' classes, it's just a bit nice to being able to see people every now and then. Okay, I think we can get started. We're coming down, child pose. You can have your hands extended out in front of you, palms down. Making it active or bringing your hands to rest by your feet. It's a bit more passive. But just feeling into the body what you need this morning. It might be nice to do your child's pose a bit more active as we are going to be working a bit into the shoulders this morning, the hips, the hamstrings. Just slowly noticing your breath. Observing it. And then gradually taking control of it, deepening the inhale, deepening the exhales, in and out through the nose. Maybe as you exhale, you even feel the warm air on the top of your lips. Allowing your body to become present on your mat. This morning's class is all about balance, focus, awareness. So now's the time to set your sankalpa your intention or if you're already working with one just repeating it to yourself three times and if you'd like to set one to the class set it around balance focus awareness stating it to yourself giving it a ride on the inhale letting go of obstacles on the exhales Lovely. Okay, guys. Walking those hands towards the middle of your chest, underneath your shoulders. You're not going to push up just yet. Bring the hands behind your back. Interlace them, palms touching. It's really important to make sure your palms touch with this as you want to protect the integrity of the wrist. We're interlacing at the base of your spine. Slowly begin to lift those arms up. Bring the hands as far as you can off the back. For some people, like me, this is extremely difficult. It just depends on your body, the rotation of your shoulders, what range you have. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. And then slowly lower it back down to the spine. Releasing the hands. Walking them out in front of you. If you'd like to keep your eyes closed, you may. Otherwise, gently blink into them. Like as if you're drawing 
as if you're drawing a line on your map of your nose. Draw your chest, your body forward, coming onto your belly. Placing your forehead, forehead onto the floor, extending the left arm out to the side, right arm in a 90 degree, bending into that right leg, rolling over, just coming into a scorpion twist, so twisting into the shoulders, opening them up. We're going to need some good rotation to the your shoulders. Again, if you'd like to deepen the shoulder stretch, come out of the arm extended, cactus into that left arm, and then move back into it. Again, just moving where it feels good for you. Don't go too deep. Making sure there's no pain. And then slowly releasing, coming back through center. And swapping the arm position. So left hand, finding that 90, catch around the arm. Right arm out to the side. If you'd like to cactus into the right arm already, then you may do so. Bending into the left leg, rolling over, stepping behind. Right cheek is on the floor. Using that left hand as an anchor to push you open. Opening up that hip. Opening the shoulder. Using your breath, try to soften a little bit more. And then rolling out of it, nice and slow. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders, tucking under the toes. Lifting back up and then coming into tabletop. So in tabletop, you want to make sure again that your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders, and hands are spread nice and wide. Go a slight tuck under the tailbone. We're going to do a couple of tiger curls and then one movement that should give you a nice hint of where we're going today. So inhale, the weight into the left, lifting up the right hand, and then lifting up that left leg, extending the body, pulling it first before we crunch. And then inhale, draw knee to elbow, rounding into that spine. Exhale, release. Two more, inhale, crunch. Exhale, release, really round up when you crunch, find that balance. Inhale, crunch in. And then exhale, release. Stretch it up, reach it up. Point or flex the toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. Place your hand on the floor and then your knee on the floor. Moving over to the other side, the weight is into the right hand. Lift that left arm, lift the right leg. Stretch it up, reach it up. Lovely, guys. Hold in there for a moment. And then inhale, crunch in. Exhale, release. So when you crunch in, you want to find that cat shape. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, release. Stretch it out, reach it up. Extending that spine. And then placing the hand and the knee back on the floor. So we're going to do the tiger curl with another movement as an answer. You're almost going into your dancer's pose from here. Yeah, so we're on the ground, so it's nice to feel in certain stability. So right hand up, left leg. Inhale, crunch. And then as you release, exhale. Turn around, grab that foot behind you, and then opening up. Nice, guys. Holding it there, slowly release with control, hand back, coming into center, crunching as you inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, extend, pushing that foot into that hand. And then release, coming back through center. Inhale, crunch. Last one. 
Exhale, release. Inhale, rotate, grabbing that foot. And then exhale, extending into the foot. And then release. Extend. And hand and knee onto the floor. Okay, then moving over to the other side. Inhale, left hand out in front of you. Lifting up the right foot. Same again, inhale, crunch. Exhale, release. Inhale, grabbing that foot. Exhale, pushing it to Now, we're opening up the shoulders as well. Inhale, release. Whoopsie. Exhale, release. Sorry. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, release. Open up. Inhale. Exhale, push into that hand. Try to find your balance. Last one, releasing that foot and inhale, crunch. Exhale, release. Inhale, reaching back as you exhale, extending in front leg. Beautiful. And release. Extending it out before placing it down on the floor. Just dropping the chin and the chest. Taking a moment. And then extending back down on the ground. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. We're just going to move through like a straight little flow. So only move as deep or as far as you're able to. Don't push up into full cobra if your back is not warm, up, warm enough yet. So inhale, slowly lift up. If you only want to go to baby cobra, stay where you are. Exhale, come down. Inhale, arms up, forehead to the floor. Inhale, just drop them down. Inhale, lifting up the arms, the legs, Superman or Locust. Holding it there for three, two, one. Exhale, down. And then one last time, lifting up. Inhale, up. Three, two, one, don't go down, take the right, right arm, reach back, grabbing that right foot, half bow, lift up, reach up, extend. Nice, hold it there for three, two, one, lower it down. Hands underneath the forehead, rock the hips from side to side. And moving over, I'm moving over to the other side, pressing the left side. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Baby cobra, full cobra, wherever you want to go. Keep those elbows in. Exhale, down. Inhale, reach the hands forward. Exhale, drop the head, hands and feet down onto the floor. Inhale, lift up. Reach up, stretch, keep those knees together, feet together. For three, two, one, lower down. And inhale, lift up, reach up, stretch. One, three, two, one, grabbing back on the left side, keeping the arms, feet up, half bow. Hold it there, stretch, reach up, kick up. For three, two, and one, lower it down. Placing the hands underneath the forehead. Rock the hips from side to side. Whew. Placing the hands underneath the shoulders, tucking under the toes, and pushing back the child's pose. Just taking a moment here. Catching a breath. I have no idea why this morning I'm so out of breath. <laughs> and then tucking under the toes. Rooting down into those hands, spreading the fingers nice and wide, pushing back, lifting the knees ever so slightly, like one centimeter off the floor, pushing the chest down on the side, and then slowly lifting up into down dog. Just making sure those fingers are still rooting down into the ground, broadening across the upper back, closing off the armpits. Tailbones high into the sky. 
drawing the heels down towards the floor. Inhale, look between the hands, step the right foot, step the left foot. Inhale, halfway lift, coming onto those fingertips. Exhale, folding down, Uttanasana. Inhale, bend the knees, interlace the hands at the base of the spine, and then slowly round up, coming to stand, keeping that interlace, drawing the shoulders down, extending the chest up the sky, keep pulling those hands, you can even lift them off the bum if you can, my mobility doesn't allow me to, and then just releasing the hands, coming to stand and stuff now. Feeling into the body, just noticing the sensation, noticing the change. Inhale, reaching the arm, arms up above the head. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Two back. Yeah, so your choice, either knee, chin, chest. Or chaturanga, put out the knees, chin chest, pull through baby cobra, inhale, lower back down, tuck toes, seat back to heels, it will meet everyone in down dog. Inhale, look between the hands, step the right foot, drop that left knee, untuck the toe, inhale, lift the arms up, sinking into the hips, and then yes, low lunge. Holding it there for a moment. Drawing that right knee back in space. Left leg forward. Finding that sense of lightness. Exhale, hands down. Tuck the toes. Lift the back knee. Step back to plank. Knees to chest. Open your toe. Meet you in down dog. Pull through baby cobra. Lowering all the way back down. Tight toes. Feet back to heels. Lift up, down dog. Inhale, look between the hands. Stepping left foot. Dropping that right knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, squeeze the arms up. And Johnny Aston on the left hand side. Sinking into those hips. Finding that push pull. So now we're pulling the left leg back and stay for the right leg forward. Keeping the tap. Hands to the floor. Tap the toe, lift the back knee, step back to plank. Moving through a vinyasa of your choice. I'm not going to cure us. Just what you feel like it's good for you. Meet you in down dog. So taking one or two deep breaths and down dog when you're there. Side out through the mouth if it feels good and that's what you need. Inhale, look between the hands, step, jump, float, fly. However you want to get to the top of your mat. Inhale, up onto those fingertips. Exhale, folding the down. Interlacing the hands to the base of the spine. Bend the knees. And then drop the head, moving those arms away from your back as you straighten into the legs. Again, opening up those shoulders. Bend the knees a lot. Keep the interlaced. Round up. Reverse breathe. Reverse breathe. Coming to stand. Keeping the eyes closed. Closing into the eyes, drawing the shoulders down, hands away from your bum. Feel as if you're lifting the chest up towards the sky, opening up that heart space. Releasing the hands, inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold back down. Just taking a moment, you can heel toe your feet a little bit wider than hip width, hip width distance. Just grabbing opposite elbows, swinging from side to side. Ragdoll. 
finding whatever movement feels good to you. If you really want to open up, moving slow. And then dropping the hands to the floor, keeping the legs straight if you can. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Planting those hands. Heel toe the feet back together. Bend the knees and round up. As you round up, start with the weight into the left leg. Bring that right knee up in space, up towards your chest. We're going to move into tree pose, so just seeing where you can go. Remembering not to place, you don't want to place your foot. You never want to place it onto a joint, so you don't want to place on your ankle, slightly above. Not on your knee, slightly below or below, above. Moving into whatever variation you're able to do. We're just coming into a good balance. We're going to need it today. Whoops, my balance is not so great today. And if you've got your balance, you can reach those hands up overhead, gaze up towards your thumbs and pray wherever you are. We're just finding focus and balance and stretching up through that spine. And then slowly lowering that foot down. And as it touches, Keeping the arms up above your head, bending down into that Utkatasana, weight is into the heels, toes are light, tucking under the tailbone and then bringing the hands to heart set. Inhale, lifting up to the chest, making sure you keep it tuck, and then exhale, left elbow, right knee, inhale, use those hands as an anchor. You want to feel as if you're trying to get that your hands in line with the center of your chest. Gaze with over the elbow. Pushing and twisting. Releasing the hands slowly back to your center. Releasing the grip. Hands to the floor, lifting the band. Oh, enjoy the release. And then stepping back into down dog. So we're going to hold our down dog for a little bit here. Get comfy in this. If you would like to deepen the stretch into the hamstrings and the back of the legs, you come up onto the toes. You would bend into the knees slightly. Feeling where it feels good for you. Keep broadening across the upper back. Pushing back, keeping that tailbone high to the sky. Feel the back body opening up, lengthening. Stretching it out. If you're up on the toes, keep it there. Inhale, look between the hands. Step the right foot. Drop that back foot. You don't want it to 45 degrees. We're going to move over. So walking the hands, the strength of your mat, bring that right foot in. Your toes are slightly in. Wide legged forward falls, press the reach up, Padottanasana. So inhale, coming up onto those fingertips, flat back. Exhale, folding down. You can either pistol grip your toe, your big toe with your thumb and your index finger. Sorry, I'm taking my socks off from the slip. Otherwise, just keeping your hands wherever you can. If you can't even touch the floor, it's okay. You grab onto the shins. Just keeping that spine nice and straight. Whew. Pulling down, feeling that stretch. Should feel quite delicious. And then we'll walk, bending into that right knee, coming up onto the left heel, walking those hands over to the right hand side. If you have the balance, Bringing the hands to heart center. We're coming into Skandasana onto the right hand side. We're just going to move through a couple Skandasana to the left and to the right. So moving with control. You want to stay as low as you can to the floor. If you need to walk with your hands, that's totally fine. You're placing the weight into the left, transferring over nice and slow, dropping into that left hip. Right foot flexes up. 
Moving over to the right hand side, nice and slow. Thumbs down. Toes up. Taking the right hand out beside you, opening up with the left. Holding that. Gandasana. Opening up. Ooh, the legs should be burning. And hands back to heart center. We're just going back over to the left. Lifting up the right, left hand up the floor, right hand up the sky. Just thinking, enjoying it, smile, hands back to heart center, stepping into that right foot, bring the hands down on the floor to the inside, flattening that back, coming into lizards. If a little bit too much for you, you can drop that back knee onto the floor. Otherwise, keep it up. You can start to shuffle, shuffle or shift, run. Just back and forward. Finding that juicy, sweet sensation into the hips. So a lizard pose will help us open up tight hamstrings in the one leg. And our quads with the other. And it's a wonderful hip opener. And finding stillness, dropping that left knee onto the floor, untuck the toe, and then inhale, lift the arms up. A little bit wider, Arjun Yasna, but it's okay. Inhale, exhale, sink into it. Bend the back slightly. Inhale, lift up to the chest. Exhale, moving back, half Hanumanasana, flexing or pointing into that right foot. And then back, stepping in, and Janiyasana. Two more. Inhale, takes you back, half Hanumanasana. And then weight back, and Janiyasana. Last one. Inhale, half on your nasana. Leveling off those hips. And then back up and join asana. Hands to the floor. Tap the toes. Lift the back knee. Join that left foot to the right foot at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding down, Uttanasana. If you'd like to interlace your hands, you can. Behind your back. Otherwise, just staying where you are, doing what feels good for you. Bending the knees slightly, and then more slowly, both breathe up, both breathe. Rounding up, releasing the hands. And then as you start to rise up, bring the leg foot up. Opening up, coming into three poles. One side generally a lot better than the other side. Your foot stabilizers is probably going to go bonkers. Whoops, there goes my leg. And you've got your balance. Reaching the arms up above your head. Keep making sure you're drawing the hips forward so you're keeping level, keeping square, drawing the knee back. Lovely. And keeping the arms up, slowly lower the legs down to the floor, bending into the knees as you go down, coming into your Utkatasana chair pose. Weight is into the heels, toes are light. Chest is up. Inhale, hands to heart. Take a moment, exhale. Inhale, right elbow over the left knee, hook it, and then twisting, opening up, using those hands as an anchor. Gaze is over now the left shoulder, the left elbow. Take 
slowly coming back to centre, releasing the hands to the floor, lifting up the feet, straightening into the legs, planting the hands on the floor, and stepping back to down dog. Again, either just holding your down dog for a couple of breaths, looking for about five breaths here, otherwise coming up onto the toes, bending into the knees if you'd like, just whatever feels right for you. Side out if you need to. Looking between the hands. I'm going to step my right foot, but you guys step your left foot. I just want to face my butt to the camera. Have to step your left foot. And coming into that wide legged forward fold. Inhale up onto the fingertips. Exhale, planting the hands. And pistol grip the toes. If it is in your practice and you'd like to go up and head down, only do it if it's in your practice. Please don't try if it's not, not part of the flow. We're seeing if you can melt down a little bit using your breath. Weight is into your toes, not into your heels. Inhale, finding space. And then exhale, seeing if you can melt down a little bit more. And then walking those hands slowly over to the left side, lifting up into that right foot, dropping the bum. Gandhasana on the left. Keeping nice and low, bum down, moving over to the right. Dropping down, sinking low. Rather make sure your heels are flat on the ground. And coming up onto your toes, so if you need to be a little bit higher, rather go higher. Inhale, moving over to the left. And then once you settle into your skandasana, left hand up to the floor, right hand opening up. Keep sinking into that hip. Inhale, hands back to heart center. And then as you exhale, Moving over to the right hand side. Releasing the right hand down to the floor, opening up with the left. And then bringing the hands to center. Moving all the way back to the left hand side, and little lunge, hands on the inside of the left foot. If you drop your knee on the other side, you may do so. Otherwise, keep the knee up and start shifting the weight back and forward. Almost as if you're trying to slot into that hip. And then finding a moment of stillness. Dropping the back knee, untucking the toe, inhale, lifting the hands up above. Anjaniyasana. Shoulders away from the ears, tailbone tucked. Drawing the left knee back in space, right knee forward. Inhale, lift up, reach up. And then exhale, slowly start to move back into your half honey manasana. Half split. Inhale, coming back up. I'm Johnny Asana. Exhale back. Move with your breath. Inhale, back up. And exhale, Hanuman Asana. And then inhale, coming back up into Johnny Asana. Hands to the floor, tucking under the toe, lifting the back knee up, 
stepping back into plank, rolling back, down dog. If you'd like to stand down dog, you may do so, otherwise coming into a child's pose. I'm just going to quickly rotate myself. Didn't think that one through and landed up on the wrong side. So if down dog is your resting pose, stand down dog. Otherwise, draw up down into child's pose. Three deep breaths. Grab some water if you need. And then when you're ready, we'll meet you at the top of your mat in Uttanasana. So always remember these poses in Uttanasana, halfway left. If you can't get your fingertips to the floor and line of your toes, keep a bend in your knees, really okay. Rather have that straight flat back and long neck and round into the spine. Okay, bending into the knees a lot, sweeping the hands along the floor, lifting up, Utkatasana, relax the spine, tuck the tailbone under, inhale, hands to heart, lift elbows over that right knee, making sure those knees don't shoot past each other, twisting, anchoring through those hands. Placing the weight into that right foot, slowly begin to lift into the left, and then reaching it back with control before stepping it down. We're in a revolved side angle. If you'd like to place your hands and open up, like so. If your fingers touch the floor, otherwise, just staying here where you are. And then releasing the hands back through centre, down to the floor, straightening into that front leg. You can drop the back foot if you'd like to, otherwise you can stay up. Depends what you want to do. Either high pyramid or pass with Tanasana. Bring the hands behind you, interlacing them if you have the balance. Chest is forward. Melting down. It's just also another one to help us increase the shoulder range of movement. And then releasing the hands, floating them forward, sweeping them along the floor, weight into that right foot, lifting up warrior three, zero regressional three. You can bring the hands to heart center wherever you would like to, whatever you practice. And then stepping that foot back down, straightening into that front leg, left hand to the floor, and opening up the right arm. And then we're going to revolve triangle, high into the back toe, opening up, leveling all those hips, so keep pulling that right hip back in space, legs hip forward, and then hands to the floor, bending back into this right leg, and then stepping the left to join the right. Inhale, straighten those legs, folding forward, Uttanasana. Taking a moment, letting the legs recover before we move over to the other side. Bending into the knees, sweeping the hands along the floor, weight into the heels, lifting the chest up, tucking under the tailbone. You should be able to see your toes and your knees. Inhale, hands, heart center, hands, heart center. Exhale, using the right elbow to hook over that left knee. 
keep making sure those knees are staying together, twisting, opening up. And then placing the weight into the left foot, slowly lifting that right foot and extending it back, hover it and then place it on the floor. Whew. And if you'd like to on this side, if you did so on the other side, open the hands up. Otherwise, stay where you are. So I collapse onto that thigh. And then release the hands back to center onto the floor. Extending into that left leg, straightening it out. If you drop the back foot, you can. Interlace the hands, base the spine. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, dropping that head down, lifting the arms off the back, wherever you're able to. Releasing the hands, slowly sweeping them along the floor, coming up onto the back toe, weight is into the left foot, lifting up, warrior three. Leveling off the hips, extending up to the leg, keeping a nice flat back, flexing into the foot if it helps, and then dropping back down, hands to the floor, and enjoy that right foot to the left. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold you down. And come into a ragdoll or stand Uttanasana. And grab behind the ankles. And taking a couple of breaths. Before we move into our dancer's floor. Might run a little over time today. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. And then hands to the floor, bend the knees a lot, we're not going into chair, don't worry. And then round up, vertebrae, by vertebrae. Rolling the shoulders down, fingertips to the floor, and then lifting up the head. Closing into the eyes for a moment. Feeling the sensations of the body, the buzz. Vibration. Maybe you're feeling something completely different. Just observing. Okay, opening the eyes. Weight is into the left foot. Slowly bring the right knee up towards the chest. You have some options here, you either stay here, grab the knee, draw it up into the chest. Otherwise, coming whew, into Palagasatana, I think it is, but on blank. Interlacing the pistol gripping the toe, extending the right leg out in front of you, keeping the chest up, holding it here. If it is in your practice, my hip rotation won't allow me to, but you can open up your legs to the side. If you want to try this with the knee bend, just opening up. Moving wherever is good for you. And then slowly bringing the legs, the knee back to center. And then dropping it, not all the way to the floor, keeping it bent. Sort of looking like a flamingo. We're going into flamingo pose. So coming first into a quad straight, grabbing that right foot behind you, pulling that foot up towards your bum. And then grabbing with the right hand, inhale, lifting the left up, keeping the tailbone tucked, stretching into the legs. We are moving to dancers to slowly transfer that weight forward, 
really rooting down to the left foot, reaching that left hand, and as you're lowering the left hand, the right leg, there goes mine, can move back a bit. So you want to make sure you're kicking into that right hand as much as you possibly can. So you really firm your stones up with me into your feet. If you're having fun struggling, I did this about an hour ago and I was able to do it. And now all of a sudden, there's one want whack. You can always just use a strap or your belt or your tie or your scarf. And if you've got your balance and I made you hold it for really long, slowly lower the left hand down whoo, to the floor, keeping the grip, sugar crane. And then releasing the foot, slowly coming through 90 degrees and like a pendulum dropping the right foot to meet the left. You can bend into the knees, just folding forward, whatever variation you need. And then inhale, halfway left, coming up into the knees. Exhale, planting the hand, bending the knees a lot, and then rounding up vertebrae by vertebrae. Head is the last to lift. Roll the shoulders, pull the fingers down to the ground. Closing into the eyes. Just observing the difference in the left and the right hand side. Noticing how you feel. And then blinking into the eyes. Moving over to the other side. One side might be better than the other. Slowly putting the weight into the right foot, lifting the left knee up towards the chest, hugging it in, or moving through whatever variation. It's good for you. Just making sure you move nice and slow, having control, focus, most importantly, balance. Making sure you're keeping the chest up, tailbone tucked. And then slowly releasing that leg, going into that front stretch. If you need to place your foot down before moving up, that's okay. Keep rooting down to the right foot. Pull the left foot towards your bum. And then getting ready for flamingo. Right hand up towards the sky. And then slowly moving into dancers. Oh, this side's even worse for me. Pushing the weight back. So you really want to feel as if you're kicking into that hand. I really don't know what's going on with me today. Yeah. And then slowly lower the hand down to the floor for sugar crane. Keeping the grip. So sugar crane is a good one to improve your balance and really helps get you up nicely to hold your dance for longer. Slowly lowering that leg, releasing it, coming through 90 degrees. And then pendulum swinging the left foot to meet the right. Inhale up onto the fingertips. 
and exhale, folding down wherever you want to go. If you want to bend the knees a lot, ragdoll, child's pose even. Just taking five deep breaths, feeling into the body, letting the body piranha, your life force. Those dances are quite interesting. You balance off the body with your breath with prana. But as you're moving one direction, your breath is going in opposite directions. So it's going upwards and downwards. So that's it, dances is a beautiful pose. Aside from focusing on your balance, and also balances out your body. And then walking the hand slightly forward. If you'd like to jump back to Chaturanga, you can. Otherwise, just moving down slowly onto your belly. Place your hands underneath the forehead, crocodile. Moving the hips from side to side. Just releasing any tension on them. And then rolling over onto your back. Bring the feet as close as you can towards the seat. Coming into constructive rest for a moment. If you'd like to cast into the arms, you can. It might feel quite nice into the shoulders and the chest. Really blowing that baby up as you inhale, drawing it back down towards the spine as you exhale. Hugging the knees and towards the chest. Rock from side to side. And then finding stillness, flexing in the feet, pulling the knees and towards the chest. And then reaching through, grabbing the outside side of your toes, lifting them up, pulling the knees. Down towards the floor, coming into happy baby. If you'd like to find movement or oh, play around, bend, straighten into the legs, making sure you're drawing that sacrum down onto the ground, but keeping the full length of the spine onto your mat. Releasing the feet down to the floor. And windscreen wiper, the knees, the feet as wide as the mat, dropping the knees over to the left and to the right. Moving with your breath, moving as fast or as slow. And then finding whatever movement you need before stepping down into Shavasana. So we have final little niggles and wriggles you need to to get up before finding stillness. And take whatever variation you prefer. Constructive rest, Supta Baddha Konasana, then your butterfly shape. Otherwise, just traditional shavasana. Feet as wide as you mat. Toes relaxed out. Back of the palms, back of the hands onto the ground. Palms up towards the sky. 
the stapling down mat. Let go of that controlled breath. Let go of your practice. Just really letting go of any thoughts that pop into your mind. Any sensation. Completely letting go. Surrendering the body down the mat. As you scan through the body, see if you can notice those areas that need to relax a little bit more. Bring your awareness and your attention to those areas and see if you can relax and release. Starting at the feet. Allow them to just relax. Legs, relax. Feet, relax. Pelvis, relax. Spine, relax. Arms, relax. Shoulders, relax. Neck, relax. Head, relax. Face, relax. Entire body, relax. Entire body, relax. Entire body, completely relax. Take a minute to just completely allow the body to absorb your practice, integrate it. Slowly begin to deepen the breath. Bring awareness back into the body. Wigging the fingers. Moving the thumb across each fingertip. Bring sensation back. Sensation of touch. Wigging the toes. Here in another variation of Shavasana, just slowly come out of it, extending the legs out in front of you. Guys in Shavasana, bring the feet together. Inhale, hands up above. And then exhale, dropping them down over the head. Inhale, reach up, stretch up, lengthen through the body. Taking a huge breath as if you're flooding air, piranha from the fingertips down to the toes. And exhale, relax down, sign your arms if you'd like. Inhale, reach and lengthen and stretch, enjoy it. And sign it out. Throwing the knees in towards the chest. 
giving yourself a high bring the head up towards the knees. See if you can grab up to the elbows, tucking yourself into a tiny ball, tensing, squeezing, pulling a face if you'd like to, just whatever you need to do. And exhale, release and relax. Dropping the head, the neck and the shoulders down, rock from side to side. Keeping the eyes closed, just rolling over onto the right hand side into a fetal position. You can use the right hand as a cushion underneath the head. Taking this time to thank yourself for coming to play and practice on your mat, for giving yourself this hour to balance your body. And then bringing your attention back to your sankalpa. Stating it again to yourself three more times. And then using the left hand, keeping the eyes closed, push up. The comfy seat. Maintaining that length throughout the spine, sitting down, rooting down into the sit bone. Shoulders are away from the ears. Palms down to feel grounded. Palms up to receive or to share. Taking a deep breath into the nose. Exhale, side up. Inhale through the nose, two more. Exhale, side up. And last one, make it a good one. Inhale through the nose as deep as you can. Sip in a little bit more air, a little bit more, and then really let it go. Bringing the hands to heart center, dropping the forehead down to the fingertips, chin to chest. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, keeping safe, keeping inside. The light in me sees the light in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you guys. Oh, I don't know what's going on now on the screen. <laughs>